Hello, welcome to the Ocean's Oracle Sunday Tarot Insights Reading. My name is Miss J and I am the Vibrarian. I'm here to help you elevate yourself with positive and uplifting information that I hope that you will find helpful on your journey. Today is Sunday, December 11th, 2016. And for our reading, I'm using the Oceanic Tarot by Jane Wallace. The spread is the star of the sea, guide me. And with it, we look at ourselves in relationship to the four elements and the fifth dimension of the spiritual aspect. So we have the energy of air and our thinking, the energy of earth and our manifestation in the physical sense, fire, our passions and energy, Cups, our emotions and inner feelings. And then again, the spiritual aspects. And we'll look at all of that and where it will be placing us as we head into next week. I have already shuffled and laid out the cards. And as I was getting ready to lay the first card, I just got this really happy feeling of just, I kind of giggled out loud because I felt really, really good. And when I turned the first card over, I understood why. Um, it is showing that we are just really feeling a lot of love right now, that we are feeling a sense of contentment. We're happy with ourselves. Uh, we feel emotionally satisfied um, with all of the things that are going on right now. We've got the potential for a high level of happiness. And one of the reasons that we are in this position is because we have sat back recently or getting ready to or in the process of evaluating where we are right now. We're looking at our efforts that we have put into something could be a project, could be a relationship, um, any other kind of situation. And as we have sat back and looked at our progress so far, we're actually feeling very good about our place. We are feeling very much um, like we are creating something in our lives and around ourselves that is really beautiful. And we are drawing on our wisdom and knowledge of the life that we've lived and the experiences that we have had so far. And we are drawing on that in order to do our evaluation. So we are sitting back looking over our goals, our plans, our progress in life, and we're looking at it with the wisdom of our experiences so far. We're looking at what has worked and what has not worked for us in the past, and we're feeling pretty good about where we are overall. Um, it does show that we might be feeling like we're ready to change or we are happy with the change that we are contemplating or we're excited about it. And it is showing that we need to uh, be very firm and fair-minded and very strong in our viewpoints uh, because it looks like we're carrying a lot of emotions around with us related to a variety of things. It could be um, emotions that aren't even ours, but we are feeling a lot of emotional energy. It might be that it's wearing us down a little bit, but if we look at what we're carrying in our energy with a calmness and a logic, it looks like we should be able to cut through some of the excess activity that is not necessarily our own and let go of some of the things that we've been carrying in our mental and emotional state um, as a result of seeing this really good kind of review. And we realized we can let some of this stuff go and that it is time to walk away from that which is no longer serving us that which is no longer beneficial to us. We've seen the wisdom of the effort that we've been doing and the energy that we've been spending. And we're coming to a very clear decision about what we want to do going forward. And because of this, 
uh, kind of trimming the excess, getting rid of that, which we don't want anymore, uh, evaluating our feelings and feeling really good about our prospects that are coming up for us ahead and some of the projects we might have planted and opportunities that are coming forth. It is showing that we have a wonderful new cycle that is getting ready to begin. And the beautiful thing about cycles is what starts and ends starts over again. So uh, in the wheel of life, sometimes we're up and sometimes we're down. And that's kind of just the nature of the cycle. But whatever cycle you might have been in, it looks like that is very favorable that a new cycle is getting ready to start. And it's one that you are purposefully putting energy into and that you're really excited about it. It's going to make you emotionally happy and make you feel good about where you're going, possibly for the new year in 2017. And this has been a year of a lot of endings, being a nine year in numerology for 2016. So uh, it could be that we are seeing the light at the end of the tunnel and are releasing some things that need to stay in the old energy that we're ready to let die and to move forward into something new. And a new cycle is getting ready to begin. Um, it it could also be some travel coming up for you, um, an, a planned or unexpected trip, possibly even across water. Uh, maybe a vacation is in store and that has you feeling pretty happy. Um, but definitely there is going to be some movement and forward progress with you going forward to this new cycle that is getting ready to start very soon. I want to take an additional card from the Brian Weiss Healing the Mind and Spirit cards to see what additional information comes out in relationship to the reading today. And it says, I fill myself with love and my love overflows to others. Only in community, only in relationships, only in service can we truly understand the all-encompassing energy of love. And I think that is really wonderful because I really did feel such a feeling of happiness when I was getting ready to pull the cards for today and to show up as the first indicator of ourselves to be the queen of cups. Our cup is literally overflowing with love. And when we move ourselves into that place of loving ourself well and then taking care of ourselves well, then that love automatically does flow outward and it affects those relationships around us and our family, friends, and community. And I think that it is showing that we are definitely looking to move ourselves out of any energy of negativity or drama or dissatisfaction to make sure that we are loving our life, that we love what we do, we love who we're involved with, we love everything about our situation. And that is so beautiful because love is the gift that keeps on giving. So I think that's a wonderful uh, energy for us this week. And also that uh, I want to take a look at see what the Divine Feminine has to add. We have a lot of feminine energy in this reading today. Um, a lot of empowered uh, energy of the Divine Feminine. We all have masculine and feminine in our makeup. And it is up to us to be balanced in the masculine and logical and the feminine and nurturing uh, aspects of our personality and our nature. And it's showing here that this week we definitely are going to be 
dealing a lot with nurturing and loving the the soft aspect of uh, living life and making sure that we are emotionally satisfied with the things that we are cultivating around us. So the second card I want to take is from Mary, Queen of the Angels by Doreen Virtue. We'll see what final message comes forward. Miracle. I trust in God to know the perfect solution to this situation. So it looks like we are really have a lot invested in something that we want to bring forward into the world. And the beautiful part is that miracles actually happen every day. Or we just need to have our eyes open to see what happens. And one way that this works is that you can set your intention to say, you know, I'm not happy in this job. I'm asking for assistance from the divine to lead me to a situation where I'm going to be more emotionally satisfied and be able to spend more time with my family, to spend more time on my own health and my own body and, and loving myself and being in balance and life work balance instead of work life balance. And next thing you know, it could be that you are on an elevator with someone you overhear a conversation about a job opportunity that you never even thought of before. And that is how we receive solutions to our situations and the things that we ask for in our prayers and with our intentions. So uh, we just need to have our eyes open and trust and know that a miracle is happening for us each and every moment and that we always have the ability to ask to be supported if we are not happy to be supported in finding our happiness. And it will seem like a miracle until you recognize the workings of synchronicity and how things are brought into our awareness for us to take the opportunities that they are presented. I'm really excited about this new phase that it looks like is getting ready to start because it shows that there is a beginning of a cycle coming and it looks like it is a cycle where our hard work is going to have paid off, where the wisdom of our experiences and our maturity uh, in our looking at our life situations is going to propel us forward into something that is really exciting. And so I really thank you for listening today to our Oceans Oracle reading. My name is Miss J and I'm the Vibrarian. I'm here to help you elevate yourself with empowering information that I hope you find helpful as you're along your journey and your path each day. If you are interested in having a private reading, my contact information appears in the description box, excuse me, box below. And I look forward to meeting you again next week for our Sunday tarot reading. And I wish you much success this week. I'm really excited about the new start that is getting ready to come for us all. Be well and namaste.